Okay, guys, this is Craig S. 1996 Television here. And it's now time for my second set of VHS collections in which you're looking at my Universal uh, Collection. Universal Studios Home Entertainment VHS Collections. And as you can see, there are not many, very, very much tapes there because right now, An American Tale of Goes West and Jurassic Park are, uh, are, uh, missing a little bit. And I can't find the other, and I can't find those tapes right now. So I'm just going to show you the tapes as they are. Oh, and there is another, uh, and I bought a new copy of a movie that I used to have before I threw it out. And it had, had no case either. Anyway, let's get started. First movie we have is Lee, Margin, Lee Marvin and Sergeant Riker. Hollywood movie grades. Good Times Home Video made this uh, VHS. I've seen this a uh, couple of times. And it's pretty good. The movie's from 1967. Oh, never mind. From 1968. And there's no print date. Next VHS we have is Burt Reynolds and a Race Star Production. Smokey and the Bandit. Features Burt Reynolds and Jackie Gleason as uh, Buford T. Justice. And whoever that girl is, I honestly don't know her name. Seen this movie before, and it's an awesome, awesome film. It's an all-time box office, big-time box office hit. Burt Reynolds is a bandit, a cane the road trucker who has accepted the challenge to pick up the truckload of Cooler's beer in Texarana, Texas. The closest place it can be sold and legally right back to Atlanta in 28 hours. The result, the reward, 800 results. I mean, 880, $80,000. Oh yeah, Sally Veal is the, is the bride maid. Never mind. I know her name now. Here's the tape. Uses the sticker label. And don't expect to see many print dates on these tapes because they're not print dateable. And um, and I stopped that part where the that's the part where the tape gets damaged. Next year tape we have is Coal Miner's Daughter featuring Tommy Lee Jones. I have not watched this whole movie yet, and you can see uh, it's been played. Uh, has been played back to that ending. This is Coal Miner's Daughter. I haven't seen the whole movie yet, so I can't give my opinion on it. And there is no print date. Here's another one of the very good films. The Story That Touched the World. A Steven Spielberg film. E.T. The Extraterrestrial. There's Elliot and E.T. Also stars Henry Thomas, Peter Coyote, Drew Barrymore, and the music is provided by John. Will the music uh, is orchestrated by John Williams. It's a good film. Love the music. Love the movie. Here's the back. Nearly two hours. This movie's from 1980, yeah. And here's the tape itself. And there's a universal, uh, whatever that, universal, uh, chron chronological sticker label. Or, I don't know what that's on there for, but, anyway, that's, uh, and some green casing as well. Here's the bottom. Yeah, some of these uh, tapes are in some of these uh, tapes in the case in the slipcover cases are in terrible condition. Anyway, Tom Hanks and Shelley Long in a Steven Spielberg presentation, The Money Pit, a Richard Benjamin film. For anyone who has ever been deeply in love or deeply in debt, Tom Hanks stars Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. 
I've seen this movie a couple times, and it's very, very good. Yeah, Steven Spielberg presents this devastating comedy that literally brings the house down on Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. After being evicted from their Manhattan apartment, they buy the home of their dreams, only to find a, a house of hilarious money and horrors. Amblin Entertainment uh, made this movie, too. And Amblin Entertainment also uh, made that movie, too. E.T. Here's the tape. Uh, never mind the music if you never. Please don't mind the music if you can hear that. And there's no. And there's a end light wall too. Yeah, you see, it's rewound back to the beginning. Next is a uh, one of Steven. Next movie we have is one of Steven Spielberg's first film, first animated films, An American Tale, a Don Bluth film. Far the part of the Universal Family features from 1998. Here's Fievel, Tiger, and Tiny Mousequits. Digitally remastered family feature film. The arrival of an American tale is a time for jubilation, says Gene Chalot of today's show. It's a good film. Definite, it's a definite good film. And I do have an American tale, Fievel Goes West, but unfortunately I can't find that movie anywhere. Here's the tape. This VHS is from 1998, and there is no print date. The movie company. I don't know what that is for, but... Oh, and uh, if you look on the side of this, that's a uh, little uh, inside poster for An American Tale 3, The Treasure on Manhattan Island. The adventure too big for one movie continues, blah, blah, blah. Join the adventure as Fable and his friends and Tiger and Tony... Discover an underground civilization of Native American mice as they search for lost treasure beneath the historic New York City. A story where differences are embraced and love and love is found to be the real treasure. Yeah, I've seen all four in American Tale films. In American Tale, Papa Goes West with the first sequel. The Treasure of Manhattan was the second one. And The Mystery of the Night Monster was the last one. Anyway, on to the next tape. Bil Biloxi Blues, starring Mat Matthew Broderick. The Army made Eugene a man, but Daisy gave him basic training. A Ray Star production, a Michael Nichols film. Neil Simons, based on the play. Biloxi Blues. Christopher Walken also stars in this film. Biloxi Blues wins a 21 fun salute. It's it's a really entertaining movie, a big hit, says Gene Shaw of today's show. Biloxi Blues. Next movie, we have our Robert De Niro and Charles Grodin in Midnight Run. This is kind of a uh, high-speed chasing film. Robert De Niro has to get the FBI off his case, the mob off his tail, and Charles Grodin off his pack. That's Charles Grodin right there. As you can see, the red dot is blinking at him. Charles Grodin. That's Robert De Niro. Yeah, the slip is in terrible condition. Robert De Niro and Charles Grodin are trying to get from New York to L.A. the hard way with each other. Jack Walsh is a tough ex-cop turned bounty hunter. Jonathan the Duke Mardukas is a sensitive accountant who has about $15 million from the mob. Gave it to Cherry and then jumped bail. I've seen this movie only twice now, so I can't really give my real basic opinion on it, but it's a good film. Never mind the music again, if you can hear that.
Here's the next movie. And this is a, a new movie that I uh, bought with but well, had no case in it. A Story of Us, the special edition that I uh, recently found at the Salvation Army a couple months ago, back in 2012. Back in November 2012, that is. Stars Bruce Willis and Michelle Pfeiffer. It's a, a good drama film. It's a good comedy drama film. Uh, more like a chick flick or a love story, but whatever. It's a good film, even though it's radar. Yeah, despite all the, despite all the cursing and that, it's a pretty good film. Next movie we have is Out of Sight. I have not watched. I haven't re really seen this movie in quite a while, so I can't really give my basic opinion on it. That's all I gotta say about it. This movie's from 1998. Both the VHS and the movie are from 1998. The special edition of The Family Man, starring Bruce, starring Nicolas Cage. I've seen this on ABC Family once, and I have to admit, it was a very impressive film. Very good one, too. Oh, I swear to God, she doesn't turn that down. Sorry about that. I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to myself about uh, my sister because she's got that music way up loud in her uh, computer. Anyway, the next movie I have is The Fast and the Furious, the 2001 VHS. Good, good film. Royce, T I think Royce Tyler 735 still has this movie, but I think he has the special edition one. I think this is from Hollywood Video. I got this back in 2001. My parents did. Yeah, I think Royce Tyler 735 has a special edition movie of this movie. Next movie we have is Waterworld. I've only seen this movie once, so I don't really have that much to say about it. But, other than saying that, it's a really, really good film. Twelve Monkeys starring Bruce Willis. This movie's from 1995, but I haven't seen the whole movie yet, and this VHS is from 1996. This has no previews on it whatsoever. I have not seen the movie yet, so... Blah, blah, blah. Now, here's another good movie. Steven Spielberg. Always, starring Holly Hunter, I think, Helen Hunt, or Richard Dreyfuss, and John Goodman. This is a good film. I've seen this a couple times now, and it's a really good film. After a uh, deathful accident by that, uh, especially John Goodman, he's a good actor. Here's another one of my all-time favorites, favorite Universal Pictures movies. Happy Gilmore, starring Adam Sandler. The guy who I uh, personally call, the, the guy who has anger management problems when he's acting. Uh... Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. I personally call him the guy of anger management. He has anger issues. I, I personally think he has anger issues when acting. But I do love his anger. I can tell you that right now. Anyway. Eddie Murphy and Jada Pinkett Smith. Or, it no, never mind. It's just Jada Pinkett. She married Will Smith later. The Night Professor. It's... This is a uh, good film. This film's from 1996, starring Eddie Murphy. He does a lot of uh, other different roles, too. Very, very good movie. The name Professor Sherman Klump, the Klumps himself, Buddy Love, blah, blah, blah. Okay, final movie we have is Jim Carrey in Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the 2000, the 2000 film, the 2000 Christmas film. Based off the original uh, TV special back in 1966. An instant classic, says Jake Carr of the Boston Globe. Eh, this film's okay. I mean, it's not as good as the original TV special, but it's a good film. Here's the tape. And that will do it for all of my Universal VHS tapes. And that does it for all that. And I'll see you, everybody, for the next video, which should be coming up soon.